Hey guys, Chad Tracy back here with another video. Um, I was terminated uh, for allegedly calling two people at two different times, um, a pussy and a faggot, and I threatened to beat them up. And that's the reason why I was terminated. Under appeals, um, kept appealing, kept appealing, kept appealing. And uh, here we are today, still fighting for my job, approximately going into uh, seven years, six years and change now. And uh, here we are, and we are back. And um, let's see, uh, I'm here to tell my story and also to just get the word out. Um, you know, my story is important, not only to myself, but it's important to others that it's been, uh, you know, things have been going on in the past in, in DOC and uh, it, it just hasn't been talked about. Um, and the time is now and it, it's about time that we as a whole shed some light on this. So. I have a special, special, special guest coming. Um, it's going to rock New Jersey DOC and my viewers at home. Trust me when I tell you, it's very, very exciting. And um, that's what I do. I'm here to shock. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So, but that's going to come. Not yet, but it's coming. So we are in... Um, round number two of, I don't even know how many part series we got. Um, here we are. Um, we're going to start off with what's going on at Trenton. Uh, Trenton state from my understanding, um, also got punched or excuse me, uh, stabbed in the neck. Shoulders, collars. Um, that was the first incident. God bless him. I hope he's doing well. Um, second incident, approximately a couple days later, the next day. Uh, uh, let me rewind. First time, the jail was not shut down. Uh, also, was almost killed. Um, the jail was not shut down. Second time, there was an officer. I believe a new recruit or rookie. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. People, please reach out. Um, he got snuck and he was knocked out on the ground. Approximately a couple days later, the following day, four recruits, um, left. They, uh, turned their stuff in and, uh, they won't be coming back. Interesting, right? And the reason why I think they're not coming back is because when you don't set the precedence with shutting the jail down, like they did in the olden days, if you want to say olden days, but um, back when officers' lives matter and uh, when you had administrators that had our back, um, you know, stuff like that would happen. Um, the jails would get locked down throughout the whole state, not just that jail. The whole state would be locked down, Right? And then they would start opening up the other jails, but the one jail that it happened to it would still be shut down. Um, that doesn't happen anymore, folks. With that also almost getting killed, that could have set the precedence for all the other jails in the state. But it didn't. And that just goes to show how soft New Jersey DOC has become. Now, is it because of the federal funding? Um, that if the inmates don't go to school, they won't get the funding because the uh, the absenteeism from the inmates, it will show at the school that they didn't show up. And that's the reason why, because the federal funding or whatever, the grant money won't come in. Um, I don't know what the reasoning is, and I really don't care. Give two shits about money. When you have ulcers lives that are at stake, and this is a perfect, perfect example of why the morale is low. And I'm going to get into why the morale is low at Garden State next. The morale is low at, at Trenton State now is because the administrators don't have our backs. And I say our because however you want to look at it, I was terminated under some bullshit ass lies. So I'm going to say that I'm still an also, but technically I'm not. So... <clears throat> 
if they would have shut the jail down for a week or so, that would have set the precedence for everything else. And the second incident wouldn't have happened. And probably there was four or five ulcers that turned their stuff in would still be there. Now, you have a class. Um, my class will be retiring in sometime in, I think, October, December, pretty much throughout this whole year, depending. And you're going to have a lot of people retiring in the next couple years. So if you think times are tight now, what do you think is going to happen in the next couple of years? You're going to have to have our back. Now you have, you've given our, our money, right? You've given our money, given us our money, finally, after years and years and years of not paying us and, and county jails getting paid more than state. Um, finally give us the raise that we, that we should have gotten years ago. Um... Right, you brought us with 122 grand, 23 grand, whatever, and you're doing some kind of blitz ass bullshit hiring. From my understanding, like you tried to hire like 75 people or 100 people, and only seven or eight or 10 people actually qualified because everybody has uh, records. I mean, shit, you might as well hire them. I mean, you already hired somebody up at uh, up at central office with a with a record, whether it be the governor's office that put them in place or yourself. You still had a felon working for you. What the hell's the difference? You might as well just put them in play now. Shit. Um, I just don't get it. Lock the fucking jails down. Maybe the morale would start get, coming around. You start locking the jails down when officers get assaulted. I mean, Jesus Christ, you put cameras all over the jails, right? You put cameras all over us. And... You guys got to watch what you say in there because my understanding those cameras are still recording 24 hours a day. So when, when you guys have your little talks in the little corners off camera and all, those video cameras are still capable of recording you. I hope you know that. Do your homework, fellas, ladies. They're still recording you. What's going on at Garden State? I'm going to tell you what's going on at Garden State. You got a piece of shit major that should have been already retired years ago, but still standing around. He doesn't shave. He doesn't get his hair cut. Doesn't brush his teeth. His shirt is look like it's rolled around in a dirt pile. Pants are dirty. Pants aren't bloused. Shoes aren't shined. And he doesn't wear a vest. You got rookies, recruits coming in. The Garden State, right? And they're seeing their major, which they're used to seeing a major up at uh up in training up at Seagirt. That's top notch, right? So you come to the jail and you see a piece of shit like him walking around. At least the other guy that was there, um what was it? Major tough ass? At least at least he looked decent in uniform. He was shaved. Haircut, shirt bloused, um, pants bloused, shoes shine, the whole nine yards. He looked the part, but he's just a fucking dick. So you got a dick and you got a fucking piece of shit. I mean, it's actually good. And I guess it's good, right? I don't know. Good, good cop, bad cop, maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> he's not retired, but whatever. This guy is still hanging around, and I don't know why. And you want to know why the morale is bad down in um, at Garden State? The morale is bad in Garden State is because you're getting officers that are getting fucking gushed, right? You're getting gushed, and nothing is getting done to the to the inmate. Nothing is getting done. I don't. I don't get it. And you got you got a sergeant up there saying it all. Just go up there and and just do your job. Like go up there and do your job. Go up. You fucking go up there and you go get fucking gushed. See how you fucking like it. Take a mouthful of piss or shit. Bring it home to your fucking family. We lead by example. If you're a sergeant, right? Get up there and do it yourself. Lead by example. Be up there with your troops. Be on the front line. 
No, it's it's always like this in DOC. Do as I say, don't do as I do. Right? Am I right? That's pretty much how it is there, right? So you got officers going home sick, what, last week? You got officers going home sick. I don't know. I, I heard a new, a, new a, a, a lot going home sick, right? Because they don't want to be up there because nothing, nothing's getting done. It's almost like a blue flu, right? But you can't do anything about it. Hey, hey, director of that area, you're wasting your time. And you better be very, very careful what you're doing. Because didn't you already cost the state, you and your ex-wife, millions of dollars? Or hundreds of thousands of dollars? And weren't you the one, one of the ones that turned your back on me? Hmm. So, let's call it what it is, right? You got officers going home sick because they don't want to get gushed. The department does not have their back. Oh, yeah, yeah, we just signed a contract. Oh, and the sergeants just signed their contract. Congratulations, guys. It's about time you guys got what you needed. Um, that's my understanding. Um, awesome. Um, you got, I don't know, how many officers went home the one day. Then you got other officers going home the following day because they just don't want to get gushed, man. Like, what do you expect? Then instead of saying, hey, guys, um, what can we do to help? Like, why why are you so upset? And try to talk to the officers and see, hey, what can we do to help you guys? They, they all immediately start looking at the, um, if they have a, a sick leave and all that stuff and see if they can charge them with anything. Really? That's what we've come to? And you're in my class? And you got all this time in? And you're getting ready to retire? You get one charge? You're not retiring, my man. That's all it takes. You're right on the cusp. And you're doing dumb shit like this. I don't know, man. Are you trying to get that, that top spot up uptown? Because they actually need a man somewhere up there because there's no men up there, is there? In the top four, five in DOC? Where are the men at? And I, and I say that with the utmost respect. My mom raised me and my two older brothers. So I have nothing, no problems with women in my life. But what I'm saying is, is that, what about, um, uh, uh, Nothing wrong with strong strong women, right? But I, I don't see any diversity up there, right? I don't get it. So you guys want to sit here and preach to us that, you know, integrity and, and, and let's be disciplined and um, let's, let's lead by example. But instead of talking to your officers, that's what a good supervisor does is talk to the talk to their, their officers and see what's going on and why they leaving and, you know, so on and so forth. You guys got to vote out that PBA guy that's in there, man. He, he's not doing anything for you in Garden State. He's got to go. He's got to go. So, you got Garden State wilding out. You got Trenton State wilding out. What, what's next? There's no repercussions for anything in the state for inmates. You too worried about charging officers. I don't get it. I don't get it. Talk to your officers. Talk to your officers, guys. Let's go. Right? And you got the same stuff that ha that's happening in DOC. You got the same stuff that's happening in New Jersey Transit Police Department. You got the harassment. Man, they're settling lawsuits of 600,000, 2 million of harassment and, and, and everything like that. Like, you have the good old boys club that are alive and well in there also. You have the good old boys club in New Jersey Transit. Police department guys, like, 
It's it. Hey, Attorney General's office, what are you doing about that? Don't act like you don't know and you don't see it. You so you so want to charge officers, right? But you're not charging the high-ranking officers in all this. Why is that? Like the the majors and and, and the lieutenants and sergeants. What's going on with that? You just had a a a major removed from Trenton. What last week? Two weeks ago? What happened there? Anybody want to spill the beans there? So you have the good old boys club throughout the state of Department of Corrections. You have the good old boys club in the Jersey Transit Police Department. That they're going around, same in DOC, is harassing people. Um, harassing, they're calling them out people's names, like the whole nine yards. Like, what's going on? Where, Where is the investigations for all this? People are reporting it and nothing's getting done. Nothing is getting done. You have all these special units, the internal affairs unit. You have the SID unit. Like, what else do they do? What else do they do? They pick who they want to pick to investigate and go after them. That's essentially what it is. If you have a voice in Department of Corrections and you're not afraid to stand up for what you believe in, like me, this is what happens to you. I'm a perfect and prime example of what happens to you. And it happens throughout the country. I've talked to officers in Florida. I've talked to people in California. I've talked to people in Indiana. I've talked to people in Delaware. Um, where else? Texas. So come on, guys. If anybody wants to reach out, reach out. You have my phone number. I'm here to help you because I know your departments are not helping you whatsoever. If you need guidance for attorneys, um, there's a list of them out there, guys. There's a list. Um... I, I will definitely give you the list and I'll definitely um, definitely bring you some um, attorney's names to uh, help you guys out with this and uh, see what the state thinks then. Um, I just don't get it. But... I have definitely some exciting news coming. <laughs> it's going to make waves. Trust me when I tell you. Uh, I'm just not going for um, attention here in New Jersey. I'm going for attention nationally. Um, I want to be the spokesperson. I want to help people throughout the country that's going through this same stuff. And it, it is going on, but it's not being heard. It's not being heard anywhere. If you're not being heard and you guys want to be heard and you're terminated, and even if you're not terminated, your spokesperson could be your loved one, could be your daughter, could be your son, um, your wife, your mistress, the fuck, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever you're into. I'm here to listen and I'm here to help. I'm here to give you the help that you need. And it's confidential. I'm not here. I don't work for anyone. Uh, uh, I will not report you. I will not do anything. I'm here to help. And I'll do everything in my powers to get you the right help that you need. Because this is Mental Health Month. And it's funny because, you know, when it's, when it's Men's Mental Health Month, right? There's nothing being said on the Jersey website, right? But there's, you know, there's... the. I can't even say how many stuff, how much stuff they put out for other color, creeds, nationalities, um, religions, um, you name it. But I feel like when it comes to men 
and men need help and things of that nature. Um, perfect example. I'm going to give you this, and, I, and I'm going to I'm going to leave you alone. Um, there was an officer that reached out to me from another department, and um, it was up north, and uh, he started to make a podcast, and. Um, and he was in uniform. Of course, he blocked out, like, you know, the police and all that and whatever. Um, that's because he was still on the job. Um, and they shut him down. They wouldn't allow him to talk. They gave him a cease and uh, assist order, whatever. And, uh, he didn't know that, obviously, he could have had his, you know, mom, sister, brother, whatever, continue on. So... This is what happened to him. It's almost, uh, it's not the same, but you know, I'll give you a little example. So what happened What happened with him was, is that he had about two or three years in, um, very, very great, good shape guy, um, took very good care of himself, clean cut, took pride in his work, um, as as I did. I loved, I loved being a correction officer, man. I enjoyed it. Um, that's why I always came to work shaved. Uh, hair done, <laughs> teeth brushed, um, ears cleaned, um, shirt clean, doesn't look like it was rolled around in the dirt pile all day, uh, pants bloused, pants clean, shoe shined, and everything I needed on my belt to qual qualify me or be in uniform policy, right? Um, whatever. So yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed it. Miss it absolutely all day long. Um, but anyways, that's a whole other story. We'll get into another time. Um, so this officer um, went always above and beyond, always either helped somebody out or even when he locked them up, he went up above and beyond and, and just did his job thoroughly, respectfully, the whole nine yards. Um, so what happened with him was is that um, he ended up getting an argument with his father. Uh, I believe he was living with him at the time. Uh, his father pulled a knife on him. Um, I, I'm not sure if he stabbed him or tried to stab him. And he had to relinquish it, meaning that he had to take it away from his father. And, uh, long story short, he ended up pressing charges against his father, um, because of it. Um... During that time, um, you know, he ended up going right back to work, didn't even think anything of it, you know, because that's what men do. We just absorb stuff. We just take it all in. Um, and sometimes, it, you know, it it, it definitely, uh, but we absorb. It definitely hurts us, you know. We're, we're late. We're, we're men. We're not, you know, we... We hurt just just as much as, as women do, right? Just because we have, uh, you know, penis doesn't mean that we don't hurt like, like women, right? Everybody hurts. It doesn't matter the, the color, creed, nationality, or anything. Everybody hurts. Um, so he ended up pressing charge on his father. And um, him and his father was, you know, they went their own separate ways after. They got a restraining order on them, the whole nine yards. Well, his dad... Um, so we'll get back to that. I had to do a restraining order. Well, his performance at work started going downhill. Um, you know, he was showing up for work late. He didn't have as many arrests. Like they, let's say, you know, just saying, not giving specifics, but let's say he had, I don't know, 30 arrests a week. Well, it went down to two arrests a week. Um, he was showing up late at work. His uniform wasn't as tight as it was, meaning it wasn't as clean or pressed. They noticed, you know, he noticed that um, uh, he wasn't shaven, you know, his hair wasn't cut. And, um, you know, generally in, in law enforcement, you know, we're taught to look at the, um, like when, you know, body language, uh, when somebody changes, you know, any little aspect of their, of their, themselves like we're taught to pick up on that and it helps us in his career like you have all these people 
like his sergeants and lieutenants um, were there that day when they had to lock up his father, what have you. But they didn't notice that his performance sucked after all that happened. And not once, not once did any of them uh, offer him any kind of uh, assistance with like talking to a psych doctor or anything like that. And he makes a valid point, and I say this with the utmost respect. I don't want you guys thinking I'm any women or any woman or don't like women or I don't think women should be in powerful positions because I do. My mom raised me and my two older, two older brothers by herself. And when I tell you she used to whoop our ass, she used to whoop our ass. Like, we deserved it, right? So I had the utmost respect for women. He said that, he stated to me that he felt that if it was a woman, that if her father or boyfriend pulled a knife on her, that that help would have been there. They would have been assisting her and taking care of her and so on and so forth. But since it was him or a man, you know, cause we're taught like growing up, we're supposed to be tough, not show emotion, you know, absorb things, don't cry. You know, in, in some families, that's how that's how it is. Um, and that's, I guess that's how it was with him also, you know, but nobody did anything to help him. So, he continued to go downhill and they continued, they started to write him up. And I believe he ended up losing his job or was under appeal or, or something like that. Or administrative leave, I believe he went out on a little bit after or something like that. But, um, you know, I just hope that, you know, and pray that you know, New Jersey DOC, that's not happening because this is mental health month. Men's Mental Health Month. And I believe that you guys are posting on your one Instagram story and also on Facebook. You're not even fa you're not even really posting Men's Mental Health Month. You know, did you guys offer any help to those officers in Trenton State that came up on that kid that was all shanked up and left in a puddle of blood? Did you guys offer them help? Has anybody offered those kids help? Or those officers help that showed up on the scene when that happened? Or even um, officers help when that they found that uh, uh, officer knocked out on the ground a couple days later? Or how about offering the help uh, or somebody to talk to when those officers got gushed? You know, that's absolutely disgusting that if you're getting gushed with shit, piss, cum, whatever, it's getting thrown on you. It's like absolutely disgusting. And then when they're getting all that stuff thrown on them, they're having a problem with the business office with them reimbursing them. Like they got to fight for their clothes to get to, to, to get replaced. And they're not, uh, they're not able to live past that memory because they're fighting with the business office. Because that guy's afraid to give up money. Like, come on, really? That's what that's what Garden State's come to? Where's the help for the officers at Garden State, too? Shit and piss, throwing on them. They're not even... The majors and the director of that area aren't, aren't even talking to the officers and asking, hey, oh, hey, guys, what's going on? Why are you guys going home sick? You know, why, why is the morale low here? Like, what can we do to change that? What can we do to help that? So we had, I don't even want to get into it, but so listen, we, we had, we had a, uh, uh, what the hell is his name? We had an administrator. And he came in and we hit it off as soon as he came in at, at Wagner. And um, that's it, guys. That's it. We're going we're gonna to get into that later. But I, I'm going to have a very, very special guest coming on. And it's going to rock DOC. And we're going to go national. 
and we're gonna get it, we're gonna try to get some headlines with with not only his story but with my story, and we're gonna keep this going. Um, something's got to give with New Jersey DOC with what they're doing, um, and somebody's got to take a stand with this, and that's it. What's happened to me has happened to other people in DOC. It's happened throughout our country because we're law enforcement as a whole. Everybody's saying that all oh, all law enforcement is bad and so on and so forth. No, 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 not all law enforcement is bad. There's only one or two people that are fucking it up to make everybody else look bad too, and it's not that. So that's it. I wish you guys well. Be safe. Listen, guys, know your policies, procedures, so you guys don't get written up, like Garden State. Um, and if you don't have that sick leave stuff, you better go get it, because they're going to write you up. Um, if you're going home sick, you don't have to give a reason. You're going home sick, and that's it. If they ask you anything else, why or when or whatever, write that down, put a grievance in, and give it to the um, PBA rep that's not doing anything there. Make him be busy so he doesn't hang out in the chief's office, or excuse me, the major's office, or the administrator's office all day. Make him get some... Um, Make him go ha hang out on the floor, do some pat searches, do some breaks. Hell, make him go work a tier on his overtime days. Is he doing a full eight hours when he's when he's getting mandatory, or is he getting a little cheap ones off? Because my understanding too is that at Garden State, um, certain people are making up certain little things um, so they can get like little short mandatories off. Hey, Barbie. Are you getting short little mandatories off too? That's my understanding. Enjoy your night, guys. Very special guest coming, and you gonna be you gonna be surprised. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it.